I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person that you're dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Libra, the recent past energy between you and the person that you're dealing with. Well, we got the Ten of Wands. And it's with the King of Pentacles. Well, the, king, the uh, Ten of Wands, it's actually showing that um, there's some difficulties. With this card, you could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. You might want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. Because, I say this because if you look carefully, you could find that part of the burden that you're carrying emotionally it actually belongs to someone else, so it's going to be important for you to pace yourself and try not to take on too much. Now, it's with the King of Pentacles, which speaks of authority, tradition, and success, and money matters, because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that indicates money, cash, coins, finance, income. Now, when this King of Pentacles appears in a reading, it's actually a sign that now is really not the time to be a maverick, but it's a time to follow the established way of doing things. So, when it stands for an actual person or a man in your life, it can refer to someone who's very masculine, could have dark hair, dark hair and dark eyes, but it could go either way. Yeah. If it's referring to a person or a man in your life, just know that this is a man or a person that you can, yes, you can believe in and trust absolutely. So Libra, the recent past energy between you and your person that you're dealing with, Ten of Wands, clarified by this King of Pentacles. So, the, so what I'm picking up for a lot of you is that the relationship became very difficult, very difficult. It was a hard place in the connection. You could have been giving your emotion, too much of your emotional energy to this person. Or they to you could go either way. Or maybe the both of you were emotionally draining each other. Something was very difficult. Because if you look at the Ten of Wands, this man, it's a card above the word pass. This man, he's carrying these wands, he's walking forward. But he's actually about to fall backwards. But the thing, the thing about it is that You still want success with this person, no matter how difficult it became. You still wanted to keep it going. You still wanted to stabilize it. You still wanted to make it secure and committed. Yeah, you were in it to win it. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So, we have the Magician. And it's with this Four of Pentacles. Now, the Magician is a card that often signifies new beginnings, great expectations. This card, it reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives. 
in, in the world if we simply try. Just know, just know that you will not have it all handed to you on a plate, but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it. If you do the magic yourself, the magician is all about action. So if you do nothing, you get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something because anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. Now, the magician is with the Four of Pentacles, which can be occurred about holding on to things, people, money, situations longer than is healthy or realistic. But when this card appears, it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an, in an unhealthy way. So, for Pentacles, it does point to anxiety. It points to fear. Could be about money or clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure. But the key would be to try to realize that being anxious and grasping it does not bring security. So coming up, a Libra, Magician clarified by the Four of Pentacles. Like I said, you still want success with this person, no matter how difficult it's been. And it looks like your person, they could be trying to create a fresh new start with you or get some type of new beginning created um, for the connection. Um, they're trying to manifest and be strategic. They could be planning on how to make things less difficult. Yeah. So that's good. And it looks like, um, because the Four of Pentacles is here, you're, yeah, it's showing that you could have some anxiety. I'm not sure if you're starting to get the impression that they're manifesting somewhere else. But no, they're manifesting with you in this connection. Because it looks like you're still, you're holding on really tight. Yeah. So I'm getting that coming up, the, the connection will still feel difficult. But your person is trying to have you to undergo some type of new beginning. Because the magician can be about new beginnings, great expectations. And yeah, you're holding on really tight. You want to make sure it makes it. You want to make sure the connection makes it. Um, so, yeah, you want success. You're holding on really tight. And I'm getting that you probably don't realize that your person underneath it all, they want a new beginning with you. Yeah. Like I said, you probably don't know it, but deep down inside, they do. They're planning. They're being strategic. And I'm getting that you don't know it. That's why you're, you have this unhealthy holding on to. You've got fear uh, of losing your person. Yeah, they want this just as much as you do. But like I said, I'm getting the feeling that you don't know it. But let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. So we got the Knight of Wands, and it's with the Hermit. Now, the Knight of Wands, when this card appears, um, it's a great time to travel if you can get away. It's about feeling ch charged up, full of energy, ready to get things done. Your self-confidence is increasing. And this should help reach towards any goals. The Knights are often message bearers, and the messages, they're likely to be positive and related to work or career. So, any projects that you have, 
they would be more successful than you thought or expected or predicted. Now, to the Hermit. The Hermit is an extremely spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations. Everything from a bank to an entire Christian church is kind of like the Strength card. You could feel like you're in the frame of mind that you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This Hermit card can also be about trying really hard to do the right thing but just make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others so your challenge libra knight of wands clarified by hermit so you could start to feel like Because you, you're not you're not fully aware that your person is being strategic and planning on how to bring you to through bring you to through this difficult period. And um, you could start to feel coming up that you've only got one foot in and one foot out. You're ready to back away or back off but you you got you got one but you still got one foot in and one foot out, one foot out so you're still in it but you your thoughts could be coming up that you wish you could back out so what you it looks like what you're planning to do is to spend some time alone to to clear your mind and get rid of some baggage because it looks like you want to just take off and get get out of this connection or this relationship but you know you can't so you could start to hope or wish that you could back out somehow, but you, so you've got one foot in, like the Knight of Wands has one foot in and one foot out. So you're trying to clear your mind to get rid of some baggage, like I said. So you go into hermit mode and you start to um, just want some time alone. But you're still in it, because like I said, the Knight of Wands... They're there, but they're, they're always somewhere else. In and out type of energy. And you could be feeling that way. Or you could be hoping that half of you could just get out. Or something about some in and out type of energy. Yeah, you're kind of in and you're out of it. Because you know, you, if you if you stay in it 100%, you probably lose your mind. Because I'm looking at this Four of Pentacles. This man looks like he's about to, he, he could snap or lose his mind any, any minute. So, you've got one foot in. And I guess the other foot out is when you realize that you, you're going to need time alone yeah just to focus on you get rid of some baggage and clear your mind but you're still in it though yeah but let's see what the outcome is now we got the seven of wands and so the ace of pentacles now the seven of wands you could find in any sort of competitive competitive situation that you come out on top and things will be going well. You should be feeling good. Any projects that you have, they should be moving right along. You may still have some regular moments of self-doubt, unfortunately. But it's going to be the time to actually feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people. Because your thinking is clear. And you could actually 
help someone out by spelling things out for them. This card, it points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. And also the Ace of Pentacles. This one, this Ace of Pentacles, you can find yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels. And they'll be very positive ones. You could start to feel optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about the future. Things should be going well. And you could be starting something new. This could be in the area of work or personally. But either way, it's a really good thing. If you're in a committed relationship and you get the Ace of Pentacles, it could rise to new and better heights soon. The two of you will reconnect when you get the Ace of Pentacles in a reading. So, the outcome... Yeah, the outcome is, is pretty, pretty good with the Ace of Pentacles here. The two of you will reconnect and things will get better very soon. The, the connection could rise to new and better heights. And because it's with the Seven of Wands, your person wants to be the last man standing. Like I said, they want this just as much as you do. They want to win this connection. That's what the Seven of Wands is about. The card above the word outcome. And it looks like, like I said, Ace of Pentacles is here. You two will more than likely undergo a, a new beginning. A fresh new start. The connection will take off to the, it will take off to the next level. So it just seems like, yeah, you two have been through something difficult. I don't know what it is. Um, it's what, I guess it's what every relationship goes through eventually. Or more often than less, a lot of people, a lot of connections have difficulties. Um, often. Very often. But it looks like the two of you um, might have just recently went through some difficulties. You want success. They know that they're not going anywhere. Like I said, I don't think they're telling you. They should because it looks like you could be really struggling to hold on to this connection. And a lot of times you wish you just had one foot in and one foot out. But instead it looks like you just take time to clear your mind and get rid of some baggage. A new beginning is coming. A fresh new start is coming. The connection will take off to new heights. Yeah, it will with the Ace of Pentacles here. If you want me to explain the Ace of Pentacles a little more, I can. But I don't think I have to. Um, yeah, I think you, you get what I'm saying. Um, your person, they want to um, win this connection. Be the last man st standing like the Seven of Wands. I was just going to tell you a little bit more about the Ace of Pentacles. I think I talked long enough, but anyway. You see the card below the word outcome. Um, the squirrel is standing in front of a huge pinnacle. And he, the pinnacle is at, a, is at a park or a forest where, where all these green trees are and leaves. And um, the squirrel... Uh, it looks like it rained for like maybe three days non-stop. And it finally stopped, stopped raining. And the squirrel, he comes out of hiding from the rain and he's like, wow. Finally, the rain has stopped. Look at his face. He's like amazed at the, no more rain. And then he's looking around and he can't find his footprints anywhere. His paw prints are all gone. So he's excited. He's he's about to run. He's trying to figure out, should I run up the pinnacle to make new fresh footprints? Or should I run to the right and make some new fresh paw prints? Or should I run to the left? So many options for a new beginning. And that's you and your person. Yeah, so the storm is, is coming down. It's about to stop. And then you get all these great new beginnings. So good for you, Libra. I wish you and your person the best. So that's a reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates as you 
general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you um, coming up in the near future. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. Stay strong. Come back and join me for the next Libra reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind when you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. You could be your person or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone, the other person could be a friend, family member, co-worker, situation. Just take the reading for however it resonates because, once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Libra, I can never say it enough. I thank you so much for watching. I hope that um, you're having a wonderful New Year's. Happy New Year's. Happy 2021. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope that you have a great day and take care.